2011, okay? Mac OS X Lion has just been released, and I had just got my first ever MacBook Pro. And Lion was the operating system that came with it. This is the first Mac OS that I've ever used before, and it has completely changed the way that I do everything, and it's just amazing. So I figured, let's check out Lion, just do a little throwback here and see how it is here in 2020. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I should probably start this off by saying why am I even using Lion right now? Well, long story short, I have my old MacBook Pro 2011 model. I still have it. You guys have seen a few videos with it if you are not new to the channel, of course. But long story short, I was making a video about boot camp and I was trying to install Windows 10 on this computer. Well, things kind of went wrong to the point where I accidentally deleted the entire operating system of Mac OS on this thing. And all I could do was go into the internet recovery mode and I wasn't aware that the internet recovery mode actually would install whatever operating system came on your computer. So for me, that was Mac OS X Lion. And that is how I've ended up with Lion again instead of High Sierra. Now, I don't actually think I can get High Sierra back because when I go to the Mac App Store, all that pops up is Catalina. Now, I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I can download this and it'll be like, hey, uh, you need to install High Sierra. But Catalina is the only one uh, that comes up. So that's interesting. We'll have to take a look at that. In this video, I'm just going to kind of go over uh, different things, you know, that I notice and you know, because this is a lot different than what we have today. Also, with Big Sur just being announced at WWDC, that is officially the end of version 10. We're now on version 11. And we've had version 10, I think, since about 2000, maybe 2001. Uh, so, pretty long time. Okay, so just some things I noticed right off the bat here. Uh, number one, screen recordings, as you can see, well, they don't go up into the menu bar. Back in the day, you had to minimize your screen recording a uh, little dialog box thing uh, in order to, you know, get it off of the screen. Another thing, we do not have a notification center, so instead we just have a spotlight. And spotlight is still activated, of course, with command space, but it does not pop up in the middle of the screen. Check out some of these throwback icons down here. This is when we got FaceTime and all sorts of cool things like that. There's this interesting one right here. I've never really heard of iTunes before. <laughs> calendar was not even called Calendar. It was called iCal. Here is Safari. This is a pretty unusable version of Safari nowadays. As you can see, it took me back to where I left off. But we can actually go to Apple.com and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, this is about one of the only websites that kind of loads on this thing but you can see how the formatting is just so off and this is an old version of Safari like I said what version is this uh, okay 5.1.7 so you can see web pages have changed a lot I mean we're missing it's all jacked up I mean if we hit see if we can even go to different parts of this you can see the loading bar up there I miss that loading bar I really do yeah it's, it's not really too happy about these modern websites uh, even if you go to Google, you get an older version of Google, as you can see. I mean, look how old this is. It's a while ago, ain't it? Um, if you do a web search, you get the old search result style. So, yeah, Safari is pretty unusable on Lion. We might be able to download Firefox or Chrome and see if it's, you know, any better. Okay, it looks like we might... I don't know. Yeah, okay, never mind. System requirements don't work. So I'll have to maybe figure out a different solution for that. We also had Launchpad and we had Mission Control for the first time. Dashboard, who remembers the dashboard with the widgets, all the classic ones like the calendar. You hit add down here and you can, you know, put your sports scores, movies, even a ski report, uh, stocks, you know, all sorts of cool things. We'll just 
I think you just drag them. Yeah, that's how you do it. Drag them up there. It's wanting us. Okay, that's hockey scores. Uh, the flight tracker. You know, pretty cool. I mean, the widgets, I, I never really used them. But as you can see with some of the new uh, announcements, they're kind of making a comeback, which is interesting. Uh, and check this out, too. So, a few icons you may not have noticed before, such as iChat. So, uh, this one still had the iChat on it. So, you can see that. The first personal video conferencing system that makes it easy to keep touch with friends. So, think of this as like a throwback of something like Zoom, right? So, this was Apple's version of that. Obviously, though, iChat died pretty quickly once good old FaceTime was introduced. So we can go to about this Mac up here and you can see version 10.7.5 right there. Now this original computer actually came with 4 gigabytes of RAM instead of uh, the 8 that you see right here because I previously upgraded it. Our utilities uh, folder here it actually looks pretty much the same. Uh, you will notice a few things such as the podcast capture and publisher and then I believe, well, let's see, I don't remember Java preferences or Grapher um, on modern Macs. And then you have Boot Camp and all that good stuff, of course. DVD player, of course, came on some Macs that had a DVD drive. The good old dictionary app, is that on a modern Mac? I don't think it is. Hold on one second. Okay, it is on a modern Mac. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, the dictionary app. Oh, and another thing too, if you look down here in the dock, we have stacks right here. So that was new. Uh, and you can see the little about stacks thing right here. There you go. So this was all new, of course, as well. You could put stacks in your dock. And it really, you know, changed the way we did things, of course. And the old throwback dock down here looks pretty cool as well. Of course, you can go into your system preferences and customize it just like you can. Uh, I remember there was a little trick I used to do where you can make the dock 2D. I don't remember how to do that. I think that might have been a terminal command. Let's go into system preferences and kind of take a look around in there. So if you notice a few things here, maybe a tad different. Number one, mobile me. So think of this as kind of iCloud, right? So this is like before iCloud, but this was also when iCloud was being introduced because we do have that right here. So it's kind of interesting how they left both of those on there. It's the same way they did uh, the iChat and the FaceTime. And you saw how quickly uh, MobileMe and iChat got replaced. Also your software update was still uh, in your system preferences and you had the external software date, uh, software update application uh, instead of going to the Mac App Store. And again, the Mac App Store was a pretty new thing as well. And something else too, I, I can't remember whether or not things like all these gestures were, you know, in a previous version. Uh, I know Mission Control and Launchpad weren't, I don't think, but you had all sorts of new gestures. You could swipe, you know, dashboard, uh, I don't think we had full screen applications yet. Yeah, I don't think we had that quite yet. Um, but what we did have was the new gestures, you know. And you can create another virtual desktop over here. So you could do that and then you could, you know, kind of like you had two monitors, but you really didn't. Check out that throwback iCal design right there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, then you could swipe back and forth and, you know, it made multitasking really good because you could have virtual desktops, you could swipe back and forth and get things done like that. And it looks like we have some software updates. It's kind of interesting. Oh, a new version of Safari. That might help us uh, with our Safari issues, so uh, we'll download that. But anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. I can't really think of anything else to talk about here. But, yeah, just a little bit of a throwback going on. I, I downloaded this on accident, like I said, and this was the result. So, if there's anything you guys want to see me do with Mac OS X Lion, let me know in the comments down below. But, 
I just wanted to, you know, do this little video real quick. Uh, so thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. What is your favorite version of Mac OS 10 since we're officially on Mac OS 11? So be sure to put that in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching. I have to click down here to stop my screen recording.